Dacomitinib uh, became available for study. I think the first um, uh, group of patients that, that we wanted to uh, evaluate were those who had tumors that had mutations in EGFR, mutations that would impart sensitivity to agents like dacomitinib or erlotinib or gefitinib. The hope was that we could get a more profound uh, degree of shrinkage and that shrinkage would be maintained for a longer time and, and hopefully that that shrinkage would be, uh, would be permanent. So uh, in the trial that was reported, uh, the specific cohort that is clearly uh, defined and, and probably the best to put into context of other drugs is the cohort with the EGFR mutations. Uh, certain EGFR mutations impart sensitivity to these drugs, exon uh, 19 uh, deletions, uh, and also uh, point mutations in, uh, in exon 21. So when you look at that cohort, what we see is a greater than 70% than rate of major shrinkage, partial regressions in patients that receive dacomitinib as, as initial therapy. And the duration of that benefit on, av on uh, the median was uh, approximately 17 months. Putting that into the context of other drugs, it's uh, at least as good, and there's some hints that it might be even a little better, uh, particularly in um, the degree of shrinkage and in the length of shrinkage compared to uh, gefitinib, probably uh, perhaps the most used uh, drug currently worldwide.